In Switzerland, the hunt is continuing for two inmates who escaped from a prison with a pair of armed accomplices. According to police, one of them is part of a criminal network of jewel thieves known as the Pink Panthers. Let's go over to CNN's Matthew Chance, who's been following this story. He joins us now live from London. Matthew, the Pink Panthers, tell us all about them. Well, they're, they're a fascinating uh, group of organized criminals that, that have most of their membership in the former Yugoslavia, particularly in Serbia uh, and in Montenegro. That's according to Interpol, which has a, a whole sort of investigation trying to uh, bring the various strands of, of the robberies that this group have committed together and to investigate them. Um, uh, it's apparently it's a loosely affiliated group of, as I say, organised criminals that focus on jewel theft internationally. It's estimated by Interpol uh, they've stolen somewhere in the region of $400 million worth of jewels uh, since 1999, when they basically came on the scene and started to monopolise the... Uh, the, uh, the targeting of uh, sort of high-end jewellery stores in Europe, uh, the Middle East, uh, Asia and even the United States as well. So a very successful group, loosely affiliated as I say, and um, one of their members, uh, a guy called um, uh, uh, Milan Popovic, who was a Bosnian national, was amongst the two people, one of the two people who escaped from that Swiss jail in, in a very daring sort of prison break that took place on Thursday. So it's yet another indication of how this gang and its members um, are continuing to foil police efforts, not just to, to stop them from carrying out robberies, but also to sort of keep them behind bars. So really, really fascinating story. Yeah, um, certainly sounds like it was an inside job from inside the jail. I suppose that obviously begs the question, what are Swiss authorities and Interpol at large trying to do to apprehend these criminals? Yeah, well, the, the, uh, well in, in the immediate aftermath of the prison break, they're, they're doing everything they can. I mean, it was very difficult for the prison guards to stop the prison break taking place. Um, the two accomplices that came from outside used a van to ram the gates. They used ladders to scale the barbed wire fences. And then they had automatic weapons and they opened fire, firing many, many shots at the prison guards inside the prison itself. Uh, essentially providing cover for the uh, uh, for the escapees uh, a, a french police uh, a swiss police spokesman rather has come out and said you know under those circumstances with so many bullets flying around um, the prison guards simply aren't equipped uh, to cope with, with that kind of situation so they had to let the escape go ahead um, there's been a full-scale police search launched in switzerland and across the border in france as well uh, where it's uh, suspected uh, that the uh, the escapees may have fled to but because of the open nature of the borders across europe i mean it's anybody's guess where they where they could be right now and as i mentioned there's a whole network of support uh, for these people they're highly organized particularly members of the pink panther gang you know, highly organized and so they, they, you know this individual could quite quite literally disappear from the radar